everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Lovet. Uh, today I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to cut and sew a shirt uh, a shirt collar so this is the materials I'm going to be needing I'm going to be needing a collar stay and I'm going to make sure I have uh, my body pattern ready so this is the basic body i'll be using you're going to make sure to draft out the basic body and the neckline is so important here so for the back this is the back and this is the front for the front i left out two and a half inches for the button allowance uh, and for the back i'm not leaving out any allowance but for the neckline uh yeah for the back i used the, the wideness of uh, 3 inches and the depth of half inch for the back and for the front I use the neck width of 3 inches as well but I use the depth of 3 inches so for the front is 3 by 3 and for the back is 3 by half so the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to open it up like this this is the back and this is the front so I'm going to place one I'm going to place it on each other like this but I'll make sure my the right side is facing each other so here is the front and here is the back and I'm placing the right side on each other the right side is facing each other like this so I'm going to take it to my machine and I'm going to be sewing from here to here I'm going to join the shoulder slope this is the shoulder slope so i'm going to join this from here to here and the same thing i'm going to be doing for here i'm going to be joining this from here to here and after i'm done with that i'm going to fold this in the front i'm going to be folding it in with a uh, one and a half inch i'm going to be folding it in like this this is the back i'm going to be folding it to the back not to the front so i'm going to be folding it like this and I'm going to be joining one and a half inch. I'm going to measure out one and a half here. One and a half inch. And I'm going to be folding it in like this. And I'll pipe it a little at the edge like this. So I'm going to sew it down. And I'm going to do the same thing for the circles. For the other side, I'm going to fold it like this one and a half inch. And I'm going to join it down. So i'll go and do that and show you so guys after joining it this is what i have you can see i joined it with one one and a half inch here and i joined the shoulder slope as well so here is what i have so one is going to be for my button i'm going to fix button on one side and for the other side i'm going to fix uh, the button hole on the other side so and it's going to overlap you know don't forget i left i i left two and a half inch inches initially so and i joined this i folded this in with uh one and a half inch so i'm left with one inch so i'm going to fold i'm going to place it on top of each other like this with the remaining one inch that i left so i'm going to place it on uh, each other like this and i'm going to pin it down from the beginning from the top to the base to the bottom i'm going to uh, pin it down but the next thing to do now is to measure out what i have from here right from the edge here and i'm going to measure what i have down up to this place because that is going to determine uh what i'm going to use to make my collar so i'm going to be measuring out from here to here guys make sure you are very very careful when you are measuring it out because you don't want to uh, mix the the measurement together you, you, you must make sure you cut the right amount you can see how i'm doing it you can see i have 18 inches here 
18 inches so for my collar i'm going to be using 18 inches so the next thing to do now is to move to the collar so let's cut out the collar i'm going to be cutting it out on my collar stay first then i'm going to be placing my fabric on it and i will trace it out so guys this is the collar stay that i will be using it is so uh, easy to get you can just go to any uh shop where they're selling tailoring materials and ask for collar stay so you can easily get it so uh this is the collar stay i'll be using and uh, for the collar length i always love to use four inches so i have four inches here for the whole length i have four inches i want to use four inches so the next thing to do now is to fold it together like this don't forget what i measure out from the neckline i measure out 18 inches so you know 18 divided by 2 that is 9 inches and i'm going to be adding 1 inch sewing allowance that is 10 inches so i'm going to be cutting out 10 inches all i need is 10 inches here so i'm going to be cutting out the remaining So this is 10 inches you know every shirt color has to be divided into two so for the upper part i'm going to be leaving i'm going to be i'm going to be leaving two inches so i divided this is four inches so i divided it into two this is two inches so from that two inches i'm going to be coming in with uh, one and a half inch can see i went in uh, i divided the four inches into two so i have two inches here two inches here so from that two inches from that middle i came in by one and a half inch so this is my one and a half inch so this is going to be the upper part and this is going to be the lower part so the next thing is that from here I'm just going to be giving it a shape a little. I'm going to be cutting it in like this. You can see. It is just to give my uh, shirt collar a, a design, just to make it look uh, beautiful. So from the one inch here, I'm going to go up from here. And I'm going to trace it out. I hope you understand what I did here. So here is our color. Can you see it's looking so beautiful already? And after, after joining it, this is how it's going to look. It's going to look like this. So the next thing to do is to place my fabric on this. And, uh, and I'm going to press it. I'm going to give it a good pressing so that this color stay is going to gum on, the, on my fabric. But I'm going to be kneading the, I'm going to be cutting it in two pieces. For the color stay, it's going to be in one side. But I'm going to be needing the fabric just this, uh, this, this shape. I'm going to be needing it uh, in another piece. So it's going to be two. So I'm going to be using one as lining. But uh, one, the one at the front is going to be having this color stick. So let me place it on it and show you. So guys, I've done that. And this is what I have. I iron the color stay on one fabric like this. You can see how it looks. I've ironed it. Make sure the color stays sticks well on the fabric. And I have this in two pieces, like I said. This one is going to be 
but for it is going to be for lining i'm not i did not hire any any stay on it it's going to be for lining so i'm going to be placing it on each other like this so before i do that the down part i'm going to be folding it in with half inch you can see you know i have two inches there and i have two inches there as well so for the down part out of the two inches i'm going to be folding in half half inch here and it will remain one and half inch so i'm going to be folding it like this and i'm going to i'm going to be sewing it round i'm going to make sure i stitch it round from here i'm going to stitch it to the down part from here to here and i'm going to do the same thing for the lining as well i'm going to fold it in with half inch and i'm going to be stitching it from here to here so let me do that and show you as so guys i've done that and this is what i have you can see i went in with half an inch you can see so the next thing to do is to place it on top of each other like this this is the down part it's going to be it's going to be at the neckline so i'm going to place it neatly like this and i'm going to start sewing from here i'm going to be sewing with i'm going to be following this shape that i have already i'm going to be sewing from here then i'll move in like this and like this then i'll go straight then i'll come out here again but one thing you should note is that i'm not going to start my sewing from the edge i'm not going to start the sewing from the from the head here i'm going to be starting a little bit i'm going to be leaving like half inch here you understand i'm going to be leaving half inch here and i'm going to be starting my sewing from here then i'll go and i'll move on and the same thing here as well i'm going to be stopping the stitching here half inch i'm going to be leaving like half inch out so and i'm going to be very sure that i have 18 inches after sewing it i'm going to measure out what i really need you know what we measure out from the neckline is 18 inches so i'm going to make sure that what i have after sewing it round is 18 inches so after doing that i'm going to be turning it over and i'll give it a good pressing so guys i've done that and this is what i have you can see it's so neat and our color is almost ready you can see i left half an inch at the head here and the same thing here half an inch this is the front and this is the back this is the original fabric and this is the lining so the next thing to do is to join it with the shirt so you must be so so careful so from here i'm going to be placing it in like this i will open it so i'm going to be placing it in at the edge and i'll close it you can see i'll make sure i push this excess i push it in you can see it's looking so neat so i'm going to do that and i'll be sewing it i'll be starting my sewing from here i'll start the sewing from here i'll make sure i push it in very well and i make sure it's it's neat so i'll be starting my sewing from here and i'll be going down i'm going to be putting it in a little i will open the knee, shoulder slope i'm going to open it up like this i will open it up like this and i'm going to place it on it like this then i will move on i'll move on until i get to the last end here i have 18 inches here already and i have 18 inches here so there's no going to, there's not going to be a problem so all i have to do is just to fix it like this and to start sewing i'll start sewing from here up to the 
the last NDA. So I'll do that and show you. So guys, I've done that and this is what I have. You can see it's so, so neat, so perfect. This is the back. This is the back and this is the front. You can see, so neat. So neat. And so so easy so the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to place it back on my machine and I'm going to start sewing from here just to give it a, a shape you might decide not to not to sew it but to give it a fitting to give it one kind beauty you can just place it on your machine and put the thread here here and you're going to stop here so after doing that you're just going to fold it like this just at the center you're going to fold it in like this and you're going to iron it well to so it can scale down like this you're going to iron it well and and our shirt is ready you can see the polo is ready the shirt polo is ready this is how it will look when you high on it, make sure you high on it well. You see, it's beautiful and so simple to make. And the next thing is that after doing that, I'm going to join the body together and I'll fix my sleeve. And that is the end. So today we've come to the end of our tutorial. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And if you are yet to do that, if this is your your first video that you'll be seeing so i would like you to give me a thumbs up and and please subscribe to my channel and please when you've done that click the not notification bell just to be alert whenever a new video is available thank you so much god bless you